My name is Janne Heikkilä and I work for National Land Survey of Finland. And um, at, uh, okay, so let's get into it. So uh, we for this year and uh, last year also we've been working on a server implementation for GCAPI features. It's the uh, most uh, boring, uh, <laughs> <laughs> most boring. Uh, tech stack you can imagine, it's Java based and uh, right now only data store available is PostGIS and we use it for writing out GeoJSON but also heavily for, for vector tiles as well. We generate vector tiles with the with API and provide a WMTS uh, server on top of that to cache the tiles and serve them in that API. Uh, also, we have HTML and GML supported, but uh, those aren't you know, our main focus. And uh, the plan is to go open source with it, but haven't found the time to do it yet. Hopefully later on this year, or maybe next year. So why did we start this whole thing? Why, why not just wait for, for example, GeoServer? Well, we had some, well, first we, uh, in the last decade, we have run into problems with uh, our own requirements. We serve our own data and we have lots of requirements that require some sort of customizability that is not available most of the time and we've uh, ended up making our own forks of GeoServer but those get kind of heavy when you fork a different version every year and end up maintaining all of them so with this new API we decided we just make our own and also it was a good possibility to, to take part in the standardization work. And uh, another thing we are interested in is complex features uh, for which the uh, off-the-shelf products usually uh, uh, are not that great for. And also one thing we wanted was to focus on the performance of the service so that we don't have to uh, so that the uh, application level does minimal overhead on top of the fast database behind it. And then also we're a national mapping agency in, in Europe, so we were also interested in Inspire and the, uh, uh, this new Inspire work, work progress program uh, focusing on simplifying the Inspire schemas and uh, hoping to make use of that as well. So this is, this was what we have now basically and this is what we're what's coming up uh, hopefully this year or this week will be the filtering parts. Then later on also we want to be able to write out geo packages from this API and uh, also use them as a data store. And then uh, we have lots of data that doesn't change at all or changes slowly. For example, uh, every day we update a snapshot of our data. For those uh, and simple, uh, simple queries, it might be worth to look into this in-memory solution for, for that sort of data for even more performance. And also an interesting use case for complex data as well. 